I hope everything is fine with you. In this content, you will watch step-by-step -step complete tutorial for Qt cross-compilation from source for Raspberry Pi 4. Before start, we are talking about a few things. First, you are able to ping your Raspberry Pi from computer or computer to Raspberry Pi. Second one, use recommended power supply. We upgrade the kernel, that's why uh, current is important. We change some frequencies on the board. Third one, you need at least 50 GB free space in your host machine for virtual development environment with Ubuntu, I mean. The latest one, use recommended SD card. 8 GB will be enough, but 16 GB will be good. This content actually consists of three main parts. Part 1, make Raspberry Pi ready for compilation. Part 2, Ubuntu virtual machine Qt compilation. Part 3, Qt creator installation, run and deploy compiled example. All necessary steps, configuration details you can find in the link below the video. So, um, let's start. First, we make Raspberry Pi ready. You should install Raspbian for this from the official website of the Raspberry Pi. I installed a Raspbian Buster with desktop. If you want to use Raspbian Buster with desktop and the recommended software, uh, you need at least a 16 GB SD card. 8 GB will not enough. You can use Windows uh, Win32 Disk Imager or Etcher to write this image to the SD card. Or in Linux, uh, you can simply, you, you can do that with DD. Choose a correct device. And choose the image. Then simply write it. Yes, I, I'm, I'm sure. Remove SD card in a safe mode. In Windows, in the right corner, there's a tool for this. Remove the SD card. Yeah, it's saved right now. Insert SD card and boot Raspberry Pi. So, uh, welcome to Raspberry Pi then. Open the terminal with VI or another editor. You will change the source list. Remove, uncomment the last line. Then, then stop the update. It will update your system, your Raspberry Pi. Now sudo apt full upgrade. Click yes. I will cut some parts of the video because I don't want to bother you with this whole compilation. Okay, it will take more time in your system. I did before these things. Also in the next, otherwise uh, it will not take one hour, this whole process. It will take more. So desktop has been updated. It should be restarted the system.
So reboot the device. After reboot, open the terminal, new terminal. And now we uh, run RPI update. This will update your firmware version to the latest one right now. But this will be careful. If you don't use, for example, uh, enough, if you don't use good power supply, after this, you can have, you can face with the booting issues. Click yes. It will not take much time. Updating kernel modules, updating firmware. There is a reason why we do this updating, actually. We need some files and compiled, pre-compiled uh, binaries, actually. Then I will show you in the next. Let it finish, yeah. Uh, reboot is needed to activate the new firmware. Yeah, we will reboot in the next. Before reboot, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to enable SSH from the configuration. As you see that, also before restart, let me talk about something. Uh, there is an commit ID, and this commit ID is about your uh, version, kernel version, right now. You have to you have to uh, care about it because in the next, for example, in one year later, if you want to use this environment again, and if you want if you want to run RPI updates. This commit ID is not uh, the updating. I mean, you update another, a newer version. So if you should actually, you should update every time anymore this commit ID, or you should check the repo repository what will be changed. Okay, this a commit ID is uh, written in the boot and firmware version here. You see, for example, in the next, uh, in the next, for example, you can do like this. For example, just get the ID somewhere, then sudo rpi update and paste here the commit ID, that is all, for the new Raspberry Pi. Otherwise, you can have different issues, dependency issues from the new kernel. So, go to opt vc lib. As you see, there are a lot of uh, binaries. With the kernel update, we install these binaries. This is important because we will get these binaries to the host machine in the next, and we compile, we bind these binaries to the, our compilation process. This is about the whole these things about an OpenGL. These are important. When you run the UI, because of these things, you have a smooth, good uh, representations on the uh, Raspberry Pi, let's say. These are important. So just reboot the device. So from terminal then, now uh, we install some packages, dependencies, and you can find these commands, these dependencies, these packages also uh, below the link in the video. But I will show you also step by step because sometimes uh, these things can be problem. Some of the files, some of the dependencies can be also installed, can already be installed actually. First install build tape Qt5 Qmake, click, click yes. Sometimes, uh, because of the connection, internet connection, I cannot reach the repository. And I cannot install everything correctly. So you have to check these things. It is, it is important. One of the files is not exist, then for whole compilation process, as you see that, failed the process with dependencies, as you see right now. This is, this is the problem. So you can run again. After a few times, you can install everything correctly. If you miss something, the whole compilation process can be undone, right? This is important. At the end, you can face a lot of issues that you find, you try to find 
uh, the issues and you spend your time, your nights, your days. Believe me, this is really um, frustrating for uh, just a developer. So when it finished, you will see a screen like this. And now Qt5 Web Engine data just will dep. Click yes. Now uh, the next ones, some dependencies, libboost, libudev, and some other JPEG development packages. Some of them is already exist if you know if you see, but doesn't matter. We have to check step by step. Some also leave SSL dev, leave dbus dev. Also these are exist in my system. Let's check, doesn't matter, right? Then also leave sound, some also dependencies again. These are also exist. All the comments as I said to you is you can find them in the link below the video. Or you can stop the video to see them. Doesn't matter. So libxgb, all related um, binaries, dependencies we should install. These are also important because also we uh, use x11 system with Qt. Then also the free type and also other formats. Let's install them. Let me clear the screen. Clear. Then libx11 development and other their packages. Clear screen again. And free DSTD, GSTD is needed also. Yeah, all of them is installed. I just checked. And Xnerema and other XI development also is checked. These are also installed already. It's good. So all ATSPI development and XDMH we should install. Click yes. It will take a lot of time. So it's finished for me. Then clear. I think there is also one thing to check, XSS dev and XRunder dev. I should install or check it is exist or not. Let me clear screen again. Now we create a file, USR local Qt5Py. We use this file and make a, give a permission for user P, write Py, for this file. This will be professional compilation. You can use also later. As you see, Qt5Py is uh, exist. It is created. It is okay. So part two, Ubuntu Virtual Machine Qt compilation. Go to your host computer. I installed before Ubuntu image, as you see here. And I have a VirtualBox also. You can download from internet these things. Open VirtualBox and create, click new. Give a name for your virtual machine, Linux Ubuntu. Give a RAM about, I just give eight, uh, eight gigabytes. Next, next. This will be 50 gigabytes and go to settings first it's a good idea to give some more core number it is really important to make um, faster compilations it will save your time it will save your time enable these things then ok and run it and show the, your image to this Give this path of your image. 
then run. Now we are about to create an Ubuntu virtual machine. Now and also we will actually create an environment, development environment, cute development environment on it. That is why we need a Ubuntu virtual machine. Choose your language, keyboard language, and click next. A normal installation. I also up, I also install updates during uh, installation. Yeah, continue. Don't worry. It's a virtual memory. Choose your value state as a matter. Give your uh, virtual machine name. I give my all my own name. One two three four. One two three four is my password. After some time, you will see the desktop of the Ubuntu. Then all installation is finished. Yeah, just rest up the device. Click enter. And here, the desktop. With the cool wallpaper behind. As you see, I really like it. So click, skip, skip, and then next. Then open a new terminal with Control at T or from the right click. Then update your uh, virtual machine with apt-get update. So do apt-get update, of course. Okay, I know there is need to updating. Then uh, sudo apt-get upgrade. Uh, up gate, up apt get upgrade, right? Click yes. After this updating, ping your uh, Raspberry Pi. Be sure, right? I can ping it as you see. Then sudo bash, it will give some permissions as a root. I will do whole compilation like this. Then install first PCC, uh, Git, Python, Python, and other necessary tools, necessary necessary dependencies first. And install libclang development. It is also necessary. If you don't install these things, you will get an error during the compilation. Then go to opt-qt5pi, actually create this file, then give a permission for user, your user. Go to that file and clear the screen. Now open your web browser, then we will install toolchain, some toolchains from Linaro. Then I will show you the link where you can find the Linaro toolchain for this link. In the, at the end, the latest seven, and ARM Linux Guinea be hard float, this one, and the X star XC, this one. You should copy this link, right click, copy link location, then with get download the tar file. This is the uh, tool chain we use for compilation. I don't use default Raspberry Pi tool chains from the Raspberry Pi tools. This key gave me an error. 
the latest Qt needs a C14. Open the tar here, untar the file. Then I will show you the binaries, the tool chains. Let me check where are they. In this. Uh, here. Yeah. These ones are the tool chains we use. We give, we will give this path for configuration in the next, as you see. So it's a good idea to export to the path. This uh, binary is these tool chains. We will also add this export to the BashRC for the use, um, further usage for the next. It will help you, right? Nano BashRC and at the end of the file, just copy it and check it's correct. Right? Yes, correct. And control X, Y, you can exit. It's good. So until now, it is good. Then go to uh, the Qt website to get the official sources, official releases, the latest one, 5.14.2. Then this tar, we should install, copy the link like before. And if we get Blauland here directly, it will also take some time. Then I will cut the video here. I won't want to bother you. As you see, it's immediately 900 person. Whatever, tar, answer the file here. And go out to the file. Let's check the, our device, Qt, um, Raspberry Y4 actually. Where was it? I can't remember. Let me check. Configuration file. No, this is not the place. But I'm where I'm looking for. Mm, no, 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 this is not. Some de devices here, but I am looking for the devices, I think. Not these things. These are the configuration files. Linux ARM, no, 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 I think this one, right? Linux ARM, Gunyabi. Mm, I couldn't find it, good. Linux RASP, no, this is not. Let me check again. Let me clear. Yeah, this one, in the devices. As you see, there is a Raspberry Pi 4 configuration. We shouldn't do and we don't we don't have to do any uh, configuration and if you ask me why we install the Linaro uh, um, toolchain here there is a reason it says that cross compilation should be done with Linaro that is why I installed before the Linaro toolchain right you can read these configuration files later there are good informations so now uh, we are seeing the files from the Raspberry Pi to our host machine for cross compilation. Like this, rsync AVZ, give your Raspberry Pi uh, IP address from lib to sysroot. Right now we uh, are rsync, we synchronize the files. These steps are important, please be careful. If you miss a few uh, files, then uh, the compilation process will not be, will not be go good. Uh, the compilation process will not be done clearly. I will not cut the video here because these are important. You can check the same thing with your environment. For the whole process also, it's a good idea to connect to internet uh, with a cable from a Raspberry Pi. Sometimes a Wi-Fi creates some problems. We install a lot of um, dependencies, packages, right? Small packages. It's a good idea to connect the network with a cable, Ethernet cable. That's for strong communication, connection actually. So the next one uh, will be USR include to our sysroot USR. Click enter. It gives uh, its password. Yeah.
Now, the next one, leap assist root, will synchronize. As we did before, right? Sorry. Yeah, let's check again. Let's check. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Okay, great, great. Then, USR leap uh, assist root, USR, we should synchronize with our sync um, command, command line tool. It's finished. The next one will be optvc leap that I I told I showed you before, right? The binary is about OpenGL. Remember, right? In this is root opt. As you see, vc leap is synchronized, just synchronized. Then we move lib agl as a as a backup, but it's not necessary. You can also uh, move or remove all the things, but I'll choose to take the backup file if I break something in the next. Lip AGL, so 1.1. the version. Lip AGL backup. We create the symbolic links for them in the OPTVC lib, the necessary dependencies for compilation, for cross compilation, as I told you, to use the OpenGL. Also, we should uh, move. Lib GLS with GLAS V2 as a backup file. Maybe if we broke something in the next, if we maybe if we will break something in the next, we can take this file back. Now create a symbolic link, soft link for both um, binaries for both dependencies. The page is so, and this is root USR um, lib um, Linux. Kuniabi, hard float, and libagl so 1.1.10. Right, this one. Click enter. And also for libgls v2, we need to create a soft link, symbolic link, in other words. I checked, it's correct. And also, for the other one, the BGSO, the GSO, the other version, one, yeah, this one. Then also, lip, lip GL, GLS V2, like the last one. So, two, right. I think that is all. That's all for the symbolic links. Now we install uh, the sysroot a relative Python script to make all sysroot as a relative. There, there somewhere in the risk five, I think, as I remember. Pokey, yeah, this one. Install this, which we get again. This will make the sysroot relative. Make it executable and run the Python, this script as a sysroot. Yeah, now uh, I want you to check the last rsync again, comments. To be sure, see some files, then check the USR include. Check again. Check this again. To be sure again. I don't wanna miss any file, any dependencies. This will make uh, bad things for the compilation. Check this again, and also check 
I think OPT should be right here. This one is root of T. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Great. And also run Python again. This root Python. Then create a file with Qt5 build. Now we will start to build process. Go to, go to that file. And now we give the configurations. OpenGL, yes, we will use device, Linux, Rasp 4. Then I showed you before the file, right? Remember. Device option with the cross compilation. And I just give here the path of the linear toolchain. That is the important. As a sysroot, I just give you the sysroot file path. As you just create, right? Qt5pi. The prefix USR local and Qt5pi. Open source, right? User open source confirm license, right? It's free. Skip. Uh, violent, we will skip. Also, Qt script, we will skip. Qt data. Our visualization Qt data 3D we will skip. No name examples, make ellipse, pkg config also it should be passed as a parameter. No use gold, uh, no use gold linker in variables. Let me check the whole. I don't want to make some mistake here. This is also the beginning process. Uh, yes, there is a mistake. This should be Qt violent. And not no name, no make should be. Um, if there is anything wrong, let me check. Make lips pkg config, no use code linker, it's okay. Uh, yeah, click enter. Okay, there is an error at the beginning. Good. Uh, Oh, sorry, G++ command not found. Oh, we for I forgot to install the build essential. We install everything except essential thing. Okay, good. Just install the essential. App install build essential. It will solve this issue. Now run the configuration again. Let me clear screen and run again. So, uh, configuration is running. It will configure the system. After some time, you will see configuration is done. Uh, writing there and some informations about your uh, configurations we will check right now yes um Qt is now configured for building, just run make, okay, but uh, web engine will not be built, okay, not no problem, Qt PD, Qt PDF also will not be built, okay, no problem for me, I will continue like this, and upper side, there are some information which module is ready or which module is not, as you see, as a yes or no, you can check here, for example, Qt web engine is not exist in my compilation, um, Bluetooth is not exist. OpenGL renderer is okay, is, is available. Qt Kick is available, it's good. QML is available, very nice, very nice. Serial bus, okay. LGLFS is available, some of them is good. Linux frame buffer X11. Also, these are exist, some of them is not. OpenGL embedded system is available, really good. It is necessary. Dbus also, the, yes, yeah, configure summary. You can read more here. Now make minus G8. This is the core number, just we gave before. That is uh, when we just create in the beginning for virtual machine. This will save, believe me, this will save your time very much. Otherwise, it will take around the four hours. Now it will take around one hour, depends on your as resources to give for your uh, virtual machine, right? So I will cut uh, a few minutes later the video here. Yeah, after a long time, a <laughs> really long time, one hour about, you will get something like a screen. That means it's okay, no problem. Now uh, we will run make install. This will be the 
last step to create the QMake, right? Make install. This will not take much time like the last one. I will not cut any video, any anything here. I will show you the same thing. Yeah. So congratulations. You have QMake right now. We can check uh, where it is uh, exists. Actually, yeah. As you see, there is no problem. LS opt Qt5 Pi sysroot and USR local Qt5 Pi plugins. No, not plugins. Bin. Yeah. As you see, QMake is here. This will create a Mac file for your projects, for your Qt projects, right? This is good. You can run directly from here if you want. If you uh, want, if you want to learn much things, you can watch my old videos. How can I do that? I will not explain right now this one because I will create Qt Creator. I will build the Qt Creator. But before, uh, we have to send the files, the binaries, compiled binaries to Raspberry Pi with rsync tool, like we did the last time. We sent sysroot USR local Qt5 Pi from to the Raspberry Pi, from host machine to Raspberry Pi, USR local, USR local, but this is correct, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 it's not correct, but yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. This should be not slash, just Qt5 Pi. As you see, one slash <laughs> creates the problem. That is why it should be, yeah, without slash, it sh we should, you should be really careful about it, right? As you see, there are much uh, files now, right? That is why I told you, you should be really careful for each step. It will take some time. Just we sent the whole binaries, the whole compiled binaries to the Raspberry Pi. When you sent the binaries, when you sent your program to Raspberry Pi, because of these files, because of these binaries, your application will run. This is a good thing. Yeah, that is all. I think uh, this part will finish. This, I think this part is finished. So then the next part, uh, we will create an application with Qt Creator. We installed Qt Creator, right? So to the next part, see you. Open a terminal, and you don't have to be a root here. Just up install Qt Creator, around 900 megabytes. It will take some time. Then I will cut the video here again. I don't want to bother you. I think it will not take a time, right? No, it's not. Yeah. It's fast and it will enough, I think. Run a Qt Creator with sudo, otherwise it will give you uh, permission problems, permission issues. Okay, we can open a project from the projects here, an empty project. But before we have to implement our tool, we have to create our Raspberry Pi tool here. Add a new one, give a name. I, I'll give a Raspberry Pi, Rasp, Rasp Qt, Raspi Qt, I like generic Linux device. So uh, you should create, actually give a path to this compiler. Also, it should be, exist in the Qt version, but it's not exist right now, as you see. We, that is why we have to give the path. First, we should give the QMake path. I just showed you before. And is the bin and QMake, this one. Open it. Yeah. No problem. The compiler is not exist. That is why it gives an error. When you define the compilers, it will not give an error. Compiler for GCC Rasp. I just give the name. And go to Linaro path. Give the GCC. Yep. And this one is the custom. Yeah, this one is a configuration like this. Apply and it will okay. 
and for C++, G++ we will choose for Linaro again. Yeah, that one. Custom 32, but it should be like this. As you see, Qt version is okay, and uh, we can choose here right now the compiler for correct compiler for Raspberry Pi. We just define and also the version, Qt version. Yes, that is all, but there is a warning, but because of the device is not exist actually. We now we create a device. Click the device. We deploy because of the device uh, configuration. Give a name for your device, give your RP address, and pi the name of the device. And we don't use private key. Don't worry, it has failed because we don't have anything. It will have, it will ask the password. It will ask the password. Yeah, test is complete. Right now, it's okay, as you see. We can create empty Hello World application, Qt Quick application. It will open a window, empty window. Empty window then, and the desktop I think I will create. You can create whatever you want. Choose next, next, and choose Raspberry Qt. We create the device, so we can compile. Before, as you see, build is will be there, exist, and choose release application. Yeah, compile it, run QMake, and go there. Copy the path, go there, CD, new, open a new tab, and here, as you see, there's a binary with file you can check. This is compiled for ARM, not for our host machine. Host machine, our host machine is Intel, right? So first, it's a good idea to send this secure copy because there is a problem right now, actually. There is a problem, and I will show you the solution. We cannot run the application from as such, from remotely, right? We cannot run the application remotely. Go to Raspberry Pi, run the application. Yes, as you see, the screen, uh, the window is open, then it's good. We can run. Good, then connect with SSH from your host machine to your Raspberry Pi. Then let's see the problem. Try to run. As you see, there's some um, problems. It seems permission denied and also some other things. To solve this, we have to export a few flags, a few environment variables actually. Qt QPA uh, platform team, Qt 5CT should be, and export the display, 00, zero and export uh, x authority file in the home uh, py uh, x authority dot x authority. Also export xdd session type, this will, it will be x11 for us right now. Then run, as you see, I can run from SSH, this is good. We export these things in the Qt creator to run remotely our binary, but the remote directory is wrong, I think. We have to correct it. Just run in the uh, Raspberry Pi. Then remove killing the process, go to profile, change the target here, home Pi. And this one, I just do whatever, you can do whatever, as you see, it's changed. And I think it's not necessary to change, right? Yeah, it's not necessary. There is nothing to do here. We will add this environment variables here. Display. Let's try to see the problem here. Ah, I forget, I forget the variable word there I have to remove, <laughs> sorry. Then let's see the issue in the Qt creator, see, the same issue. We can see on the application output. So let's solve this issue and exporting the environment variables. Display 0, .0. Qt QPA platform team. Qt5CT. X authority in the Pi home, home Pi X authority as we added before. And add a new one, the last one. XDG session type X11. It will be X11. Yes, okay. 
Um, I think everything is fine. Run the application. As you see, yeah, it is running, as you see. Also, we can print something if you want. These are cementing issues about the uh, Qt Creator, about um, editor, it is nothing. Just include debug. I don't know why unknown type names. Whatever, don't worry. This will not, this will not make any compilation error. For example, just uh, print something like a hello from Qt and deploy our binary again and also application output C we can see also the outputs here this is good this is good great yeah, great I think that is all for basic things let's uh, run some other example from my um, repository let's check I can't remember the name of the example one of the example actually we can run it doesn't matter Qt Raspberry Pi examples, speedometer. Yeah, I will install this one. It clone this, and I will switch another um, branch. This has some dependency. A uh, branch minus AI. I don't remember the name. Yeah, Git checkout speedometer only for GUI. Git checkout speedometer only for GUI. Status. Yeah, this one. It's okay. Go there and open from the Qt Creator. I'm just showing you as an example. Choose the profile for as a speedometer. This one. It asks to create a device. I choose this right now. Ready to compilation. We made. Uh, we will make all configuration again here. Like the old one for uh, exporting the environment variables also here as you see it is empty so that doesn't mean when you create as a new application you should export these parameters again and also target path you have to give okay it's okay then this one and add the variables like we did before platform team this should be Qt5 CT. Add a new one as a display. 0.0. X authority. Home pi dot X authority. XTG session type will be X11. Yeah, that is all. Let's run the example on the Raspberry Pi. Choose release and compile the binary. Run it. Ah, other binary should be stopped. Yeah, it's running as you see on the Raspberry Pi as a full screen. Yes, uh, I think all the things have done right. Great. Um, it is really clean uh, build. It is really clean development environment. So that is all for me here. Um, don't forget to subscribe and see you later.